Hello, first grade, Mrs. Snyder here with you today. I'm super excited um, to be doing this lesson with you today. I'm sure you've been on the computer a lot or maybe on the iPad a lot. So we are going to get up and moving here. I know that in the past couple videos, you've been talking about a steady beat, right? And that's when the beat of the music stays the same. We can clap to it, we can snap to it. Um, today we're gonna get up and we're gonna march to it. So I'm gonna put on a song here for us. We're gonna practice marching together. I wanna see if you can listen to the music and march to the beat without looking at my feet. If you can, awesome. If you need help and you wanna watch my feet and march with me, you can do that too. So go ahead, stand up, here we go. All right, here we go, we're up, we've got some space. If you wanna watch my feet as we're marching, awesome. If you can do it without looking, great, here we go. Keep marching. My feet stay the same. Good job. Practice bouncing it. Just a gentle tap. Good job. My feet stay the same. Stays the same. All right, now we can sit down, relax. We're done with our marching. Good to get some exercise in. So the song that we were listening to, I'm not sure if you could hear all, hear all the words, but the song was talking about other things besides music that can keep a steady beat. So the first example that the song gave was our heart, right? Boom, 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 boom. Now when you're sitting and relaxing, your heartbeat is probably slower. Boom, 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 boom. And then when you're running or you're really excited, it's getting faster. Bum, 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 bum. Either way, it still keeps a steady beat, right? It's staying the same. It's not really changing too much. So I want you to think for a second, is there something else that you can think of in your house or maybe something else you heard in the song that keeps a steady beat besides your heart? What else keeps a steady beat? You might not have one in your house, but a regular clock right? Not the analog, the digital ones, a regular clock that has the arms, tick, 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 that's always moving, it's staying the same. Another example might be an alarm or timer. I know when my microwave goes off, it goes beep, 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 
beep, beep, beep. So it's kind of staying the same, it's staying steady there. Another example from the song would be our feet, right? We were keeping the steady beat in our feet. Now we were doing it along with the song, but you could march without music and keep that steady beat step, 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 step in your feet. All right, we're gonna move on from steady beat, but we'll come back to that a little bit later on in other lessons. Um, in the song that we were listening to, were all of the notes sounding the same? No, of course not. Our songs would be so boring if every single note sounded exactly the same. Uh, something that makes music really interesting is that it's different. Right, so the song that we were listening to had different types of notes. It had notes that maybe went a little bit higher and then notes that came down a little bit lower. Right, we don't want songs that stay the same. Our song didn't sound like this. Music has a steady beat. Music has a steady beat. That's boring, right? We don't have songs that sound like that. There were high notes and low notes and notes in the middle. Music has a steady beat. I'm going up and down. That's what makes it an interesting song. Um, so today we're gonna talk a little bit more about high notes and low notes and notes in the middle. And we're gonna do a little bit of singing together today. Before we practice singing high and low notes, we're gonna practice hearing high and low notes. So Mrs. Snyder is gonna do a little singing for us today. And you're gonna give me a thumbs up if you think I'm singing a higher note and a thumbs down or point down if you think I'm singing a lower note. Okay, so let's do one together where I'll, I'll show you my hand as we're going. Okay, how about this note? Does that sound like it's a high note or a low note? I'm gonna point down because this is a lower note for Mrs. Snyder's voice. Good, do we have pointing down for that one? Thumbs down? Well, I guess thumbs down, pointing down. Okay, how about this one? How about this note up here? Is this note higher or lower? What do you think? This note right here, this is definitely a little bit higher, so we're gonna do a thumbs up. How about this note down here? Oh my goodness, that's a thumbs down. That's a very low note. How about this note? We're going up even higher. Yeah, thumbs up for that one. Good. Uh, now we're gonna look at the piano for a second because the piano can go even higher and even lower than Mrs. Snyder's voice can. So we're gonna hop on over and take a look at some notes on the piano now. All right, here we are at the piano. You can see Mrs. Snyder's cat, Maxie. He's back there laying <laughs> in the sun. Um, so same thing as before. Instead of me singing, I'm gonna play a note. And if you think it's a high note, you're gonna give me a thumbs up. If you think it's a low note or a low sound, you're gonna give me a thumbs down, okay? How about this one? That's a pretty high note. How about this one? That's even higher. I'm going down lower there. That's really low. So um, the songs that we listen to are made up of a combination of high notes and low notes and notes that go in the middle. Good job. All right, so now it's time to actually practice what we've been just listening to. What voice do you think we're gonna have to use if we're gonna sing high and low sounds? Our singing voice, of course. Um, so there's lots of ways that we can experiment with high and low notes without writing actual music notes down. And one of those would be by using a line. The fancy word for this is melodic contour, but you don't have to worry about that today. We're gonna use our voice, our singing voice, to follow this cool wavy line that Mrs. Snyder drew. Now, if you look right here, this is where we're gonna start. Based on where the line is on the page, do you think we're gonna start with a high voice or a low voice? A low voice, right? See how the line is way down here at the bottom of the page? And then when we get up here, what kind of voice do you think that's gonna be? That's gonna be our highest voice, right? And then we come all the way down, back to our low voice. So we're gonna just practice this on an ooh. You could sing it on a la, an ah, an e, if you really wanted to. We're just gonna do ooh for right now. Later on, you can pick something different if you'd like. So I'm gonna put my finger right here. We're gonna follow my finger and make the sound together, okay? So remember, we're gonna start with an ooh, but it's gonna be a low voice. Ready, here we go. Ooh. There we 
we go. So each little hump, our voice got a little higher, a little higher, and then up here, we were at the highest. All right, let's practice one more line with our voice. So the first line I showed you was kind of really wavy and we kind of moved our voice gradually up or gradually back down. So this one's a little different. The lines are kind of pointy and we kind of drop from one voice to another. Now, our other picture, we started down here with our low voice. For this one, we're starting up here with a high voice. So I'm gonna start high, come down pretty low, and then I go back up, down, up, down. And then here, what do you think my voice is gonna do? My line stays the same. So what do you think our voice is gonna do? It's gonna stay the same, right? It's gonna follow the line. And then at the very end, whoop, we're gonna go up, okay? So let's do this one on an ah. Since we started the, did we, we did the first one on an ooh, let's do this one on an ah. And we're gonna start up high, ready, here we go. Ah, 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 ah. So we kind of added that little jump at the end. Fantastic. I want you to try to find a piece of paper in your house. It can have lines on it, it can be scrap paper, it doesn't have to be a big paper like this one. And you're gonna make your own line. You can make it pointy like this one, you can make it wavy like this one. Sometimes I even like to decorate mine, like I'll pretend there's like a little man sledding or like riding a skateboard down the hills. Be creative if you wanna add some drawings to it. Um, and then show your line to someone. Show it to a brother or sister, or mom and dad, grandma, whoever's at home with you and say, I'm gonna teach you how to sing this song. And they're gonna look like, what in the world is that? And you're gonna have to show them to follow with their finger, to go up or down, depending how the line moves. Okay, because we were practicing our high voice and our low voice. And then really all those voices in between, right? Are those medium kind of notes that aren't super high or super low. So I had great fun marching to the beat with you. I had great fun singing and listening to high and low sounds with you. I hope you enjoyed our music lesson and I will see you again soon. Have a great day, first grade.